Hello YouTube, Teach the Desi Life here. Today I have a very special knife to unbox for you. This one is coming from Germany. Uh, the knife maker's name is called Blow Rock Blades. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Using my Spectacle PM2, the soft series, to unbox this. Super good knife. Let's cut this open. And see what's inside here. Okay. Okay, set the box aside. Looks like we got a pouch. And the COA card here, Blow Rock Blades. Here's their information. And the model name is BRB4V1, serial number 13. And steel is RWL34. Finish is two tone. And handles is TI6A14V. Uh, and finish is stone wash. Backspacer TI and hardware are zirconium slash steel. Uh, okay, and here is their uh, designer's signature. Date of birth is August 3rd, 2023. Super cool. And here is the pouch. Pretty cool. Let's open it up. Here is the knife. There you go. Super good looking knife. There are some melting here and here and here. The design is so clean. Only one body screw here and pivot screw here. There's no screw here on the clip side. And this zirconium pocket clip looks sick. You have two ways to open this knife. One is this flipper and the other is this big thumb hole. Uh, let's do the thumb hole first. Super good flicking action on the thumb hole. See the action, oh, wow. So job shoddy. You can see. Wow, such such good action. I'm in love with this knife already. Let's try the flipper. Flips open with authority. The D10 is tuned to be perfect. And yeah, this flipper you can only do Light switch and uh, push button won't work, I think. Yeah, light switch works perfectly. Take a look at this blade. This blade geometry is crazy. There are some melting on the blade as well, which reminds me of my Green Small Norseman. Yeah, as you can see, the Norseman has similar kind of melting lines here. And they're a little bit different in blade shape. You can see this one straight here and then go all the way up. And this one has recurve here and then go up. Cool. Very good knife here. Okay, now let's uh, actually do some size comparison between this knife and the Norseman. As you can see, the Norseman is quite larger. 
but I believe they do have a larger XL version of this knife, which is probably this size. And how about compare it to the Spyderco Charmin? You can see it's quite smaller than the Charmin. How about compared to the Spartaco Para 3 Lightweight? They are quite similar in length. I would say almost the same in overall length. Maybe longer on the cutting edge for the BRB4. How about compared to the PM2? PM2 is quite larger than this BRB4 V1. Okay, how about compared to uh, Rosie? Let's see, it's a little bit longer than the Rosie. Yeah, almost the same. Just a touch longer, I think. There you go. Okay, now let's actually weigh this knife, see how much this knife weights. Okay, this knife weights 3.626 ounce. Pretty good, good for EDC. And they're 4 ounce. Okay, um, let's actually measure this knife as well. So, you can see the overall lens is just over seven inch, seven and a half, and the blade is around three and a quarter. Cutting edge is just about three inch. Pretty good size, and the action on this knife is just ridiculous. So smooth. Very smooth. And also the ergos on this knife, this, there's a big cutout here. Put your finger here and your thumb here. It just melts in your hand. So good. If you have medium and small hands, this fits perfectly. If you have large hands, uh, I suggest you look for the uh, XL version of this knife, but this size just fits me perfectly. So good. Another closer look. Okay, now let's actually cut something with this. See how sharp it is. And here is a piece of paper. Very sharp. Wow. Cut super well. So overall, I'm pretty impressed by this knife. Super clean looking and cuts really well and carries well as well. Okay, now let's talk about the price and availability of this knife. This knife you can only get it in his lotto and on the secondary market. Um, the table price around 750 but on the secondary you can get it for a little bit less or a little bit more depending on uh, the condition of this knife. Okay, that's it. I'm super excited to get my hands on this knife. Let me know what you think about this knife in the comment section and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you. Take care.